Well, I realized that um, this last recording, I, I summarized what I did yesterday. It was important to do that, um, from my point of view, because I do want to show you how incredibly varied my life can be. However, yesterday was not a typical day for me. Typical in that it had uh, something to do with meetings. I, I usually have a meeting with someone, but nothing like as full as that. It was a Sunday, you see, and everything was on yesterday, wasn't it? And although it was a very enjoyable, sociable day, and you could say ministry-wise it was good and, and spiritual, it wasn't what my normal days are. My normal days follow a pattern of, um, I'm at home almost always in the mornings. I am, um, as, as you know, I do a, a good chunk of time, first of all, in bed, according to when I wake up. It's only five o'clock now, quarter past five, on Monday morning, you see. And um, I spend a lot of time as regards YouTube recording, because, of course, I feel that this is my way of recording something that might be ideally a blessing to people. Um, a wide range of possible people, and I mean possible, but at the same time the doing of it I find extremely beneficial, spiritually speaking. I suppose because it marshals my ideas and understanding of spiritual things that are of great concern, interest to me. My reason and way of living. To be a blessing to others and to myself. If it's only a blessing to myself, well, it's still not wasted. I mean, that's wonderful to be blessed. If it's a blessing to others as well, well, that's just wonderful too, isn't it? So I find it extremely worthwhile. Um, yeah. But as I say, my normal days might be principally in the mornings, um, at home in my flat. If it's sunny, that's lovely. I'll sunbathe, I'll exercise, I'll... Um, I'll do my breathing practice, you know, triangular breathing at some point, but not majorly. Nothing like as majorly as my attention to recording and um, and starting the day. And I'll read, typically, um, something that I find a particular spiritual fascination at present. Um, there's ongoing reading that I tend to do, which is I'll read a few pages of the autobiography by Paramahansa each day. Um, I'm not devoted to Paramahansa in the way that um, a couple of his organizations have devotees, but I do um, recognize that I'm always lifted by reading part of his book. I, I'll read, of course, John's Gospel too, but typically, narrowly, for usually something to do with John 17. You might think that's incredibly narrow. I mean, you can't do that every day, surely. And, and I don't do that every day, but I don't do anything every day, um, except nearly always probably always, something to do with the recordings. Um, if you like, it's my ongoing ministry. Has been for some years now. Yeah, a few years. Increasingly and increasingly. I 
I found it an incredible blessing doing the recordings for my own narrow self. Um, but of course it's meant to be a potential blessing to anyone that finds that it is. And as I've said in the past, wonderful way of providing something without forcing it on anyone. It's, you know, YouTube is a great facility, isn't it? You can flit from one thing to another and until you find what ideally you're looking for. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Heavenly Dad. So, yes, in reviewing the last recording then, I was anxious to point out, in a sense, what I am doing with my retirement, so to speak, which is not retirement at all, of course, as you can see. It's uh, the pursuit of the spiritual life. Yesterday was a pursuit of it in a very social context. Whereas most of my days are far, far less so. In fact, most of my days are um, typically one sort of meeting of something, but um, nothing like as packed in as it was yesterday. But there's many strands going on in my life, many groups that I know of and attend loosely or not so loosely, quite strictly. And they're very varied, as you can see. Um, but the dominant thing in my time is at present and has been for a year or two, a few years now. What's going on as regards this recording, building up this enormous number of um, studies. Brief, aren't they? I mean, this last one was very long, it was 40 minutes, but typically they can be anything from 4 to 20 minutes long. Typically they're, they're in that region. Because that's all that's necessary for a particular thought. Um, and anything that is as long as 40 minutes really becomes burdensome rather than a blessing. And, and except it be a particularly, bound to be particularly helpful to someone, in which case, well, that's just lovely. And worthwhile if it was just to one person. And of course it is typically at least to one person, myself. I find that each recording a blessing. And if it really isn't, and I think this is a bit sort of problematic, then I simply don't publish it. Um, but there's not many like that. I mean, there might be one in 20 that I think, well, I'll hold that back for a while. And even then, I may well look at it and add something to it. Try not to revise it, but add something to it. And that makes it valuable, as I understand it, potentially valuable, a help, a blessing. And so I still put it out there in the end. So on average, what am I holding back? Mm, one in 40, one in 50 perhaps. Yeah, something like that, possibly. And it might vary through time. I am, as you know, immensely um, encouraged by simply being able to publish, read, um, create these recordings. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Day.